Pram Jordaan, een gehoorgestreemde animatiekunstenaar van Edgemeet, ontvang in juli van jaar die Deaf Nation inspiratie toekenning vir sy bijdrage tot visuele kunst. Jordaan is vooral bekend vir sy veelbekroonde animatiekortfilm The Rubbish Monster van 2007. Die film draad die boodskap oor dat rommelstrooi nadelig is vir die omgeving en vertel die story van een sienkie wat een rommelmonster skep wat verwoesting saai. The Rubbish Monster het talle internationale toekenings ontvang, waaronder eerste plekke op die Kalamazoo animatiefeest in Chicago en die elfde internationale spotprint en animatiefeest in Seoul, Zuid-Korea. Dit is ook met de multi-choice VUCA toekenning bekroon. In 2009 het The Rubbish Monster ook in boekvorm verskyn en dit word eerstdaags in Sweets vertaal. Ons het met Jordaan gesels. Um, how did you get interested in the visual arts and specifically in 3D animation? Um, my parents, um, especially my mother, she was a perfectionist. My father was a good storyteller. So it, growing up I learned to, to be in that kind of environment. So during my school holidays, um, working at the advertising agencies, I started being interested in animation. During the time there was a story called Toy Story, so I wanted to be, to be in 3D animation. That's how I got interested in that. Just take us a bit through the, the making of the rubbish monster. And how did you come upon the idea to, to make this short film? Um, then around about 2004, I was walking in Long Street in Cape Town, and then there was a, mo and a man be just before me walking. Um, I had just gotten off the, um, the bus. So the man walking in front of me, he was eating chips and then he didn't throw the packet of chips in the litter bin, he just threw it on the street. So I went to him and asked him why didn't he throw it into the litter bin. The, the man swore, swore at me and saying, fuck you. And then I decided, I thought that uh, I wish, uh, how if so many people did the same thing, throwing litter into the street, then how would our country be? So from there on, I. I didn't feel like a loser. I created and came up with, with this idea on how we can save our environment and not litter, um, having to have a, a healthy environment as well. Did you have in mind to get it published in book form? Um, a 3D animator, I'm more visual, so I wanted the, the, the message to be on TV first because that's how I got my awards. I won actually 12 international awards, having to travel the globe, and then I was all over newspapers. The Cambridge um, University asked me if I can translate the animation into a book or transfer it into a book and then I said yes I would gladly do that so I did the writing and then did the basics of the film then we we published the book. How, how do you feel about being honored with an inspiration award? What does it mean to you? I think that this award uh, isn't just for myself it's also to show how far a deaf person or a deaf community can go and then show the world that it's not just for myself, but it's for all of us. Yes, the benefits are great, but it's much more important to show the deaf community how far we can go.